Hey, welcome to Mullen Stock. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads. And also remember that this is not a financial advice video. First, let's discuss today's topic about Mullen Automotive, which always has a unique story. This story is somewhat like a soap opera. It feels like one day there will be a Netflix documentary about it. I truly believe so. I was posting almost a year ago, thinking that Netflix might make a documentary about Mullen one day. And look at what happened with GameStop and AMC, but Mullen? I think it has a significant presence, much like AMC or GameStop. I know there are many stocks like Mullen, but Mullen community is quite large. There has obviously been significant dilution here, which is a bit painful. But their products are good. I feel that, especially if our world moves towards EV, Mullen can dominate in Class 1 and Class 3. I've received a response from Brad, so I'll tell you about it through text. But yes, it seems they have made some Class 1 deliveries. Let's talk about Mullen. I don't want to say with 100% honesty, this is my own opinion. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, but it doesn't feel good. And this seems to have been a pump in our case. Perhaps I'll share this news with you over the weekend, before we can reach that point on Monday. When they announced the hiring of Mark Basil, we had this pump. All right, so it practically went from $0.15 to $0.21. And now it's going down. I said, hey, if we don't hold on to this support, we're going down. And as it seemed, folks, where we are on RSI, where we are on stochastic momentum. From there, I haven't seen any reason why we won't break the all-time low and go down, which is $0.11 from 13 now this is something I've never shown or explained to you before. I've broken it down for Patreon members. Certainly if you want, you can look at more technical aspects, but you can see that it's becoming very simple. RSI is a 4-hour time frame. Every time this line, which you see there, goes below this yellow line, it keeps spinning. Every time it breaks, the stock price falls. I've drawn it for you in yellow circles. Every time we cross below it, it goes down. Let's move on to another example. The second yellow circle that I've drawn for you. So, then we went below it. All right. We started going back up. Give an example, we went below it. Yellow circle up there. What happens? Major downside pressure. Let me tell you about the third and fourth examples now. Here's the third example. So when we went below from the second example, you can see that we eventually bottomed out here. And then we broke below the yellow line and started running. But then what happened? The third example, yellow circle, we went below. Then it started crashing. You can also see stochastic going low. So what's happening now? On a 4-hour time frame, we've broken the yellow line. Let me zoom in. On a 4-hour time frame, stochastic momentum is going down. We've broken the yellow line. So if we base it on what happened before, what do you think is going to happen next? That's why I share these Fibonacci levels with you, because if we don't hold on to some levels, we're going down. If we look back only to September, it seems like we are heading downwards, right? So, tell me what you think in the comments below. Now you can throw all this out, and I could be completely wrong. But the thing is, this is how the market has been moving lately, especially if you go back just four months. It's moving in the same way. However, I might be wrong if a squeeze happens, right? It has triggered a squeeze at levels 4 and 5. This could go up by 90%. It's not a guarantee, but it might happen. That's the truth. It might. Just as those who dropped some news that could impact this squeeze. I have no idea. I'm not a fortune teller. I don't know what will happen next week. Right? This is just a way of looking at charts and understanding what has happened before. Here's another scenario to consider. There's a meeting on Friday, and we have five trading days. They've got approval from NASDAQ to start a third reverse stock split. If they have two options, they say, oh, we'll figure out a way to get to a dollar. But if needed, we can do one for two or one for a hundred. So who's to say what I shared with you won't continue, and we go down further this week. Let's say we go down to ten dollars. Now they can initiate a reverse stock split of one for a hundred, because I think it will get approved. I just think that regardless of what U.S. retail voted for, it will get approved. Okay, I'm not trying to be negative, but I'm with you all because I'm a shareholder too. And this is the trend that Mullen has been following in the last three to four months. Okay. So let's say it takes us down to $11 or $10, maybe lower. Then the third reverse stock split gets approved. They can initiate a 100 for 1 reverse stock split. It can go from $10 to $10. We know that after a reverse stock split, it usually drops immediately. 
It doesn't matter which stock it is. I think all stocks have dropped after announcements. So for me now, I can exit. Maybe I'll exit Mullen's stock. It looks like that. I haven't made a final decision yet. I'll see what happens on Monday. But the first thing you all should know is, if we break the all-time low, which is 147 or 146, I want to see that a bit. The actual all-time low is 1463. I want to check what the actual all-time low is, and then I'll tell you that I might exit. Let's see, straight to the point. All right. And this could happen on Monday. Or maybe on Monday, we could get a little pump. And then, especially if no news comes in, we can fall even more. So keep an eye on this because Mullen approach is that we move a bit and then drop straight down. Right. So the reason for me going out could be that I believe, from what I've just shown you, that we are going down further because Mullen has done this based on RSI. If no specific news comes in, but we can go down more. So my assumption would be that if I go out and Mullen is still dropping straight to the meeting, especially if I already believe that their third reverse stock split is coming, okay, then I'll get out at $0.15. Let's say I'm taking a big loss on this, like everyone else. Those who sold also suffered a lot. Okay, so we're all stuck in this together. And I think there's more to this story. Like I said with Netflix, I don't know if it will happen or not, but lawsuits and such things, I think it's going to happen in the next two years. But I believe the third reverse stock split is going to happen. I've been saying this for two months now, but still, I could be completely wrong. Everything is based on RSI for the last four months. My belief is that what the charts are showing is that we are going down further. We will break the all-time low. Let's quickly see how far I can go if we use Fibonacci. Yes, so I think it can go anywhere between 13 to 10.5 cents, and this is only because of the trend. So if I sell, which I will inform the Patreon members as soon as possible, my plan would be to wait until the meeting, thinking that the third reverse stock split is coming. They will do the reverse stock split, and then maybe I'll invest again. This will greatly reduce my cost basis, and then I can buy because I think Mullen will do this. He will burn us. You can see there that they will start the third reverse stock split straight to the meeting. I don't know if they could do it on Friday or maybe on Monday or Tuesday next week. After that, I think they will drop news so that they can keep it up. But I think there will be an initial sell-off, and then they will drop the news, and maybe they will start buying shares, and then say that it can't happen until the end of December. So, there is a long time again. We have a few weeks, right? So, I don't think there's a crazy squeeze happening right now, just that we're all thinking, oh, big news is coming. But after this, it really doesn't seem like it can happen again. I could be completely wrong, but this is what I've been reading about Mullen for a year. And I'm leaning more towards getting out, and then coming back in. Because I think Mullen can become a successful company. The stock price is just not doing well right now. And let's assume we drop to $0.13. That is another 13% down. Or if we drop to $0.105, that's 28% down. So maybe I can save myself, perhaps up to 12 to 28%. And this is only until we reach $0.10 before the meeting. But then what happens is they do a reverse stock split and we will go down again. Again, I might be able to save myself up to 50% from this point. You know, it doesn't feel good to sell at such a low price, but when you think for the long term, you have to decide what's better for you. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about Mullen's stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.